you have to take another deep shot downfield this year offensively? Really? I did. I think uh, uh, I'm not sure we did Saturday. You know, I can't remember. That's all I had. I mean, uh, for quite a while, I thought we were throwing too many deep shots. You know, but uh, uh, yeah, I think. That's a good question. I'm going to check into that when I'm done. But I think we've been pretty consistent throughout the games and taking shots down the field. Front row right. Austin? Herman, there, it always seems like there's this general generalization that teams come out sleepy for noon starts. You have had a lot of success with Ohio State getting the teams ready to start at noon. What's the, what's the secret there to getting right for 12? I think Coach Mick and our staff do a really good job with just the energy and, you know, we get them to bed early and uh, we're used to noon games. And I think a lot of guys like them. I personally like them as well. So, uh, I think uh, uh, I, I like the energy that we've had the last few games. Uh, far left, uh, Doug. Uh, health update for the team. We all right? Yeah, Barrett is. Uh, Barrett Rodden won't make it this week. But I think everybody else could go. And this is this is my uh, Dwayne played high school ball in Maryland. Going back to Maryland. In that process, when. The fact that Dwayne Haskins ended up here, along the way there, did you have an idea that you were pretty confident even when you maybe were looking at other guys that Dwayne Haskins might end up a Buckeye or, or the fact that he wound up here in the end? What, what yeah, kind of I remember that was a, a unique situation that uh, there was a, another uh, young man that committed to us early on and he ended up, I think, on Oregon and playing on position. And then, uh, you know, Dwayne's a guy that I was always very close with. And, but he committed to Maryland, and they had a coaching transition, if I remember right. And uh, I, I, I always had a really good relationship with him, and we went after him very hard and got him. So even, I mean, just... We kept following him yeah, uh, like you throughout. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's pretty commonplace. Uh, third row left, Dan. Urban, Chris Olave has been in wide receiver rotation for a couple weeks now. How do you feel like his play has been Boy, so he's far? Boy, he's going to be good. He's, uh, he's way ahead of the schedule. And, uh, they just, you know, special teams is doing good for us and made a great job. Uh, I think he had a couple catches in Saturday's game. The one was a big one across the middle, but he's going to be a fine player. What do you think are things in particular that's enabled him as a true freshman? He's to tough and he's freshman. smart and he's uh, very mature for his age. And, and final question, front row right. Tim? Yeah, Urban, uh, uh, defensively, what just what stands out to you about Maryland? I mean, they, they've made some pretty big plays. They've had some good games, some bad games. They're Talent. Bad. They're uh, you know, a transfer. Trey Watson. Trey Watson, the Howard. Uh, oh, okay. Number yeah. nine, the big guy. Yeah. And, uh, just very good talent. I mean, that's, uh, and they played that odd four eye, which is very soon. We faced a few teams like that this year, very multiple what they do. But obviously, whenever you start talking about what makes a team good and why they're playing good on defenses, they are very good talent and fast. Has that changed anything since Durkin hasn't been around? Is, have you noticed anything different from them this year, offensively or defensively, compared to a year ago? Quite honestly, I can't really remember you know, and, um, I think we watched a little bit of their videotape, but uh, they're they're, uh, they're very difficult to defend with all the motion shifts and fly motions, and, and uh, they've had some games where they put six, seven hundred yards on people, and then on defense, it's it's pretty much the same, if I recall, from uh, what DJ, DJ's defense, I believe.